Hey, what's good? What's popping, everybody? It's your girl, Pastor Jay Carter of the Change Church. Had to jump online and hit you guys with another video. Before we get started with today's content, you already know what to do. Like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. If you are not subscribed, I have no idea what you're waiting on. So go ahead and subscribe. Press that button. Click, 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 click. Get some juice in your life. That's what the J stand for. Juice. Just the milk. Okay, let me let me let me calm down. Let me calm down. So you guys know what we do. Before we get on and we start talking about today's topic, we say a prayer. We have like a, a, a good card. We give some good vibes. You know what we do. So let's pray real quick. God, we thank you for today. We thank you for blessing us abundantly. Father God, no matter what we are going through, allow us to keep our minds stayed on you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys. So Let's really get down into it. I have an email that I have yet to do this video on, and I wanted to go ahead and get it done and get it out of the way. Just to let you guys know, you can email me any topic, any advice, anything you want to talk about, share about. I'm like your homegirl's homegirl, okay? So you can email me at pastorj at thechangechurch.com. Again, pastorj at thechangechurch.com. I'm really super cute with this short hair. I'm going to quit doing that. Okay, so I got an email from a friend. And so y'all know I don't call y'all like subscribers or whatever. We friends. I got an email from a friend. And one of my friends told me that her present friend had been tripping. So I say, let me get a little bit more information, right? Let me see what's really good. So when she first met this lady, they both are prison wives. And she felt like the lady was upbeat. The lady was positive. The lady was just a breath of fresh air. So she felt like I can share with her, tell her what I'm going through, and we can really build this friendship. Fast forward, okay? Fast forward. And here it is. The lady is going through some personal things, some things in her her own relationship, but now she's super negative about, you know, prison wives. She's super negative about men in prison. And so every time she's now sharing with her friend, her friend is super duper negative. So she asks for my advice. And like a good friend, I always come through. I try my best to answer you guys' email in 24 hours. Sometimes as soon as I get it, I'm on, I'm on the move. I am on the go. I my friend need me, and I need to come through when my friends need me, right? Right. So, I begin to share with her. You have to first, when it comes to prison wife friend, your friendship as a prison wife, okay? You first have to come up and understand who is really a friend, and do people really know the definition of a friendship? How do people friend other people? You know, let's be honest. So I know when I meet new people or I have new friends, I always tell them I'm a little funny. I'm funny acting, okay? Okay, I'm not negative, but I will stop talking to you. And then, then start back talking to you as if I never did stop talking to you. I know. And it's not always the person. It's literally me. Sometimes I don't deal with nobody. Simple. But I let them know as a friend. So up front, you already know. Jax don't answer her phone. She probably don't want to talk. So understand how the person friendship works for them. You know, how do they operate? Me, if I just know you alive and you good, then we good. You know what I'm saying? Like, we good. But... Other people, they need to be around you every day. They want to talk to you every day. They want to text you. They want to talk to you. They want to send you pictures and, you know, memes and stuff. And, you know, I'm only like that with a select few. Okay? <laughs> okay? So, you have to understand where that person is. Another thing, understand that people do go through things. So, if she initially was, was positive and you have more positive vibes than you have negative vibes, nine times out of ten, that person is just going through a real rough patch, right? A real rough patch, right? You guys know when you were little, when you were kids, kids are like so super mean, right? So are prison wives when they're really negative. They super mean for no reason, okay? They found out that they man was doing some kind of funny business and now all of a sudden your man doing some kind of funny business listen 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 you keep all that to yourself okay so 
I explained to her. Let's first just identify the type of friend she is. Is she a good friend to you? Do you really feel like she's a good friend? I mean, I'm not just talking about using you or whatever, but is she really a good friend? Because for prison wives, we tend to connect with each other because we have similar situations, not knowing that people are really, really different. Some people only befriend you because they want to ride to go see their man all the time. And if homegirl never put in on gas, homegirl never opts to drive her car, then guess what? She's using you. Okay, so 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 you really got to see and, and, and kind of dig into why you guys are friends, right? Everybody that's Hispanic are not friends, you know, just because we share the same nationality doesn't mean that we're buddies, right? So it's the same thing. Yes, we have a similar situation, but it doesn't necessarily mean that we buddies. We just have a similar situation. Don't get it twisted, right? Cool. So another thing, after you have kind of done your research and you kind of figured out, okay, they're pretty much a good friend. However... What they're going through is kind of pouring over into our friendship. It's kind of pouring over, right? So that's when you have to learn to set boundaries. Boundaries are very important in any friendship, in any relationship. Super duper important, okay? So you got to let them know. Hey, boom. You can't just come up when you want to. You got to be invited. You know what I'm saying? I didn't ask you for your opinion. I'm just sharing with you, you know? I tend to tell that to Taj from time to time. Oh, Taj, I'm only sharing. Not asking for your opinion. Just, I need to get it off my chest. Then she's like, oh, okay, cool. But if you want the opinion, you know, I got it. I got it. I'm like, oh, thank you. I appreciate it. So sometimes you just have to be able to know who you're pulling what to. And everybody's not going to be happy for your next level, your next move, right? Maybe you guys were boyfriend and girlfriend. Now you guys are moving over into marriage. It's an amazing thing. And you're super duper excited. And she mad. She's still a girlfriend. She upset that she can't get a ring. But you got to understand every relationship is different. So be mindful of who you're talking to, who you're sharing what to. Also, see what type of friend they really are. You know, what's really going on, right? And then set those boundaries. Listen, what's going on between you and your boo don't got nothing to do with what's going on between me and my boo, okay? So listen, if you cannot keep you and your boo out of me and my boo business, then we can't be friends about these boos, okay? So you have to be direct, open, honest with people, right? Don't let them think that their actions are okay because they're going to continue to do that. So we got to teach people how to treat us, right? Boom. And I'm going to tell you this too. Don't be afraid to cut somebody off if they're just too negative for you. It's okay to cut people off. I understand you say, Pelsa, no, I need my little two and a half friends. Mm -mm. No, no, no. You don't necessarily need them. However, God does place people in our lives to teach us things. They place people. He places people in our lives to show us things. So pay attention. Pay attention. That's what you got to do. Pay attention. So set those boundaries. Don't be afraid to do that. Like set those boundaries. I'm not talking to you today. Sorry. You too negative. <laughs> Can't do it. Maybe next week. I need to detox from your negativity, right? And that's okay. And sometimes people don't even realize how negative they are. They don't even realize that they're doing something wrong. I said sometimes. I know you like pairs and all. They know. They 40. They know. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they struggle with knowing if they did something wrong. So that's when you have to tell them, hey, sweetie, I know your man got caught up in some homosexual activity. However, mine has not. So don't, don't tell me now that he, everyone's gay because, honey, it's not the same. So you have to be honest. Set those boundaries. Don't bring your drum over here because I ain't asked for it. Push back. Mm. You got to learn to push back a little bit. Push back. So, and it's okay. It is okay. Learn to cut them off. Spend some alone time with yourself. Before I get off the line, I want to tell you guys something that I'm doing because, as you know, my husband is in review and we're super excited and we're hoping and praying thumbs up fingers crossed i did that backwards but you know what i'm saying so what i'm doing to put my faith into action what i'm doing to uh manifest what i want is i'm making a scrapbook of our prison journey and for it to be over so all the letters that he has written, not all, because, you know, we've been together. <laughs> we've been doing this quite some time. But majority of the letters, 
you know, getting cut up in the hearts and stars and, you know, certain paragraphs, you know, being put on the page, our visitation pictures being put on, our wedding picture, because, of course, we got married in the prison. For y'all that don't know, your girl got married in the prison. And uh, so, yeah, um, that was like a, a real a thing, a, a thing. So um, I'm doing this scrapbook idea, and it is to preferably, hopefully, be the end of my prison wife journey that's my hope that's my prayer and i hope you guys are hoping and praying it with me too i've been doing this a long time baby a long time so yeah anyway thank you guys for watching again it doesn't hurt subscribe boo leave a comment let me know you there i need more friends